What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is episode 7. Already 7 episodes in our Tech Out Your RV series. Now, uh, this episode is all about Mopika and their propane tank monitoring systems and uh, propane tank protection systems. Uh, so obviously most RVs, if not all of them, have some type of propane tanks hooked up to them. Uh, and a lot of times if you don't have one of those high dollar fangled RVs, you don't know how much propane you have left. Um, you know, maybe you have to get out of your RV, go open up the whole propane system and look at the gauge inside of it. And maybe it's like storming or crappy weather out or muddy or what have you and it's dark and you have to, you know, you get the picture. You don't want to have to go out and do that just to see how much propane you've got left, you know? You know, maybe you're cooking and all of a sudden your fire goes out and you're like, oh, is it something with my burner or am I out of gas? And you have to get out and you have to check and see if you've got a propane problem and if maybe you're out. So let's just take all of that and put this solution here. Another issue is our propane tanks sit low to the ground. They don't have anything under them. You're traveling on salty roads, especially in the winter months in the northern states where there's salt and sand and all sorts of crap on the roads and all that's just coming up under our propane tanks on our RVs and it's metal on metal where they sit most of the time. So what rusts out? The area that holds your propane tanks and your propane tanks themselves down in the lower extremities. So we're going to look at two different, actually we've got three different solutions we're going to look at here uh, from Mopika. And so let's go ahead and dive in. This is just a quick uh, talk about, then we're going to go install this stuff and we're going to demo it and go from there. So let's just dive right into what you see here on the reviewing table. First off, now I talked about protection. These here, now some of them call them tank halos, some call them propane rings. Uh, they got multiple names to them, but this here is going to hopefully help prevent your metal on metal rust from your propane tanks. So you'll have to take your propane tanks out, mount this to the bottom of your propane tank, and then slide this back in. And it gives you a nice layer of protection where propane tanks and stuff rust out quite a bit. So we're gonna install these tank halos. I got two of them right here. As you can see, I have two propane tanks. So we're gonna install those and see how they look. Okay, there's your first solution. Not too techy at all. It's just little rubber rings. But, very, very needed. I highly recommend them. Okay. Now, let's move on to solution number two here in the middle. Uh, and these are um, some of the older um, sensors. Uh, not, not super old. Uh, they've got, we've got the pro system and then we've got the regular system here. So what this is, uh, these are Bluetooth. Now, underneath here, they've got magnets, a little sticky. Uh, and what you do is, um, these have batteries in them. Uh, I believe they're like CR2032s or something like that. So you can replace the batteries. Uh, and what you do with these then is uh, you can sync this. You see it says sync. So you put these underneath your propane tank. Uh, they magnetically stick. And these here have been improved. Now, some of the earlier generations of these, people complained because they fell off. Uh, stuff like that. And, and truthfully, I have an old generation, and what happens is the magnets are just so strong, uh, they pull themselves out of the actual uh, device, because um, both of my magnets on my old one, actually I have one, I reseated it and glued it. Uh, the other one I haven't got to yet, um, but uh, I think it's actually missing. Uh, but it's sticking by one magnet. And um, so I'm going to move that one to, I think, my grill which doesn't have any kind of gauges either, and then replace with uh, some of these new sensors that we have here. So we've got two sensors, one for each tank. Now there is an app, I will show you the app. And then there is this that you can put inside your RV, um, and this will actually tell you by syncing uh, how much each tank has. And so this is a little visual 
uh, box that you can have inside your RV that will actually tell you. Oh, can't get it out here. Yeah, it's it's in here pretty good. So you can mount this somewhere. You can see it's got like screw mounts, um, or you can stick it. Uh, on your RV, I would probably suggest you just stick it on your RV wall and call it good. There you go. So you know, you'd pull that out and then you'd operate the battery. Uh, I've just used some like 3M double stick here and just stick it on the wall somewhere versus trying to screw this into it. But you know, it's up to you. You can do however you want. Uh, and then so this one here will show you digitally how much you got. E full. It's like a, like a fuel gauge in your vehicle. If you're full, you're full. If you're empty, you're empty. So you have a visual monitor inside your RV that you can just look at and say, oh, okay, I don't have to get out. I'm out of gas. All right. Hopefully it's not your sensor malfunctioning, but you know, normally you're going to have some kind of problem. Your heat ain't going to work. Your refrigerator is going to die or your stove's not going to work. You name it. Hot water heater may not work. And you're like, oh, I might be out of gas. Well, there you go. Here's, here's the middle solution. And again, this will work with your app. So these connect like Bluetooth wise. So you got to be in range uh, and then you can get information here and here. Let's move up to the pro models. So this one here, sync, vent. Um, this is the pro, Mopika Pro. It's a little bit, uh, got the same kind of connection system, obviously two magnets and a little sticky here. But the cool thing about these is it connects to the Bluetooth Wi-Fi gateway. All right, so you have to keep this bad boy plugged in. Obviously, it's got an AC plug. So uh, what you can do is hook this up to if you've got like a Wi-Fi or a hotspot or something in your RV. And these guys here, now these won't work with this. So I'm going to preface that. You've got to have the pros to work with the gateway. These just don't operate, and I don't think these operate with this. It's not backwards compatible either. So uh, I could be wrong, but we'll test that. This is what this is for. This is for testing. So what this will actually do is take your data and put it in the cloud, and you can check anywhere. Say you're, you've got some kind of power, and this is powered up, and your RV is in storage, um, or maybe you're just like out to eat, and you're like, oh, I wonder if how we're doing on our, our propane tanks. Log into your phone, boom. You don't even have to be around your RV. It'll tell you how much gas you have left in your tanks, and you can access it anywhere. You don't have to be in your RV. You can be anywhere. Maybe you got your tanks with you, um, you know, and and you know you're going to get them filled or something, and you want to look at your usage history or something. You, boom, you got it. It's it's in the cloud. So very cool. Now this will require though to always be hot. You've got to have a USB. So boom. You could plug it into USB or you can plug it into AC. So that works. And again, works with the pros. We're going to install these, we're going to install this, and we're going to install all three of these. And we'll come back and we'll look at the results uh, of what we get. And I wanted to show you the app real quick before we get too far uh, going here. So here is Mopika Products. And I am using an old sensor. I've got one connected right now out on my one of my propane tanks. You can see it says right tank. I only had one of the old sensors. It came with my RV. I bought it used and boom, uh, I had it in there. Uh, it says right now that it's got 48% uh, and this was last updated 10 days ago. So obviously I haven't been in uh, and launched this with my RV. And then it gives you a nice little, uh, your battery level of your sensor, your signal strength, quality, and some tank info and it says, well, yep, you got 48% left, this is the right tank. So, uh, definitely cool. This is with the old version. We're going to get these new versions set up. The app's the same. But uh, I did want to show you guys, uh, and you can have multiple tanks in here, obviously. Um, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to hook one up to my grill. Uh, I, I might even hook one up to my fire table. Um, I've got enough sensors. I may just go kind of crazy and uh, put this on um, some of my actual uh, propane tanks that I have here at the house. So we'll see what we do. Uh, I'm even might even try one of those little green cylinders. I don't know. I don't know if this will read those or not. These look like they're more for the bigger size tanks, but we're going to try it. Why not? Let's see what we get out of it. I'm curious. 
All right, guys, we're going to end this, this part of the video right here, um, and we're going to go do the installs, and we're going to cover the installs, what we've done, and then we're going to demo the products and see how the, the cloud data works, how this works, um, show you where these mount, the connectivity, all that good stuff. Coming right back up. We'll be right back. So what's up guys? So we're installing the Mopeka propane tank system here and I can see I put the tank ring on and I'm actually trying one of each. Okay, so we're going to compare. I have the Pro uh, and then I have the normal and uh, we're going to sync this to the app and the gateway which is right here and uh, using a, a jackery here to uh, power that guy. Um, so we've got that going on. And uh, as you can see, the ring looks really good. Uh, I'm going to prevent rust down here on the, the lower extremities where there's already a little bit of rust forming. So hopefully that helps that out. And uh, we're going to go from there. So these are installed. We're going to sync them up, like I said, uh, to all of the different monitoring uh, options that we have here. And again, we got the pro and got the regular. Uh, and we'll check the, the monitoring out. I'm going to do the exact same thing. This will be AKA tank one. Um, and then I'll set up tank two and then we'll come back and show you how the monitoring looks. But uh, did want to give you a look at the uh, install process and how it uh, uh, is uh, set up in my side of the, the house here. So we'll be right back with some setup and monitoring uh, and alerts. Good stuff. All right guys, welcome back. So we have the gateway set up. So what you'll do is you'll just join this. Um, you go plug it in, you'll push this little green button with the app open. Uh, it will detect the gateway and you'll run through the app. Uh, you'll join it to your Wi-Fi uh, hotspot that's in your RV, um, you know, or in your house, but you know, wherever, preferably your RV. Uh, now, it is only a 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, I did try it with five and it would not work, it would not connect, it doesn't tell you that. So if you go through a lot of frustration and try to connect to five gigahertz band, um, you're going to be working at it for a while and not get anywhere. So connected to a 2.4, uh, once you put in the uh, SID, which is case sensitive, and it does not do a discovery, so that's kind of another little gotcha. You've got to put it in the exact SID, case sensitive, anything that's in your SID, put it in exactly as it's shown when you're looking at it like on your iPhone or something. Uh, and then the password. Once you're in, you're connected, uh, you will see this light goes solid, which is Wi-Fi, and then it should connect to the cloud. And uh, it does, this little light comes on every now and then to say it's transmitting, uh, I believe it's set to like every, I don't know, every 30 seconds or something like that. Uh, it'll flash transmit data. This will send your, your propane tank information to the cloud, so anywhere you can check it. And the last time it communicated is what the last reading your app will show you. Now you can actually integrate this also with uh, the Amazon Echo and the uh, Google... Uh, you know, what, Google Home. And so I've actually got this uh, synced up with my Echo so I can say, Alexa, open tank check. Hello and welcome to the Mapika tank check gateway. You can use me to check the status of your tank check sensors. Try saying what is the level of my tank? What is the level of tank one? Left tank pro is at 87%. Measured six minutes ago. All right, so there you go, guys. Now, again, you can do the same with Google Home. Um, but you can actually integrate this with your smart home devices, and they'll tell you from the cloud. You don't have to be around your RV, in your RV, or wherever uh, to find out your propane levels. How cool is that? All right, we'll be right back to wrap up and go over some final thoughts uh, and uh, close the video out. All right guys, so this is the app, and as you can see, I've got the uh, Wi-Fi gateway in here, and I have two pro sensors. Now, I did mention at the beginning of this video, I was gonna put two on uh, one tank, kind of compare them. Can't really do that uh, accurately, so I, I was a bad comparison thought to do. I tried it. Um, these really have to be in the middle to get accurate data, and uh, I could not get the pros in the standard sensors right here uh, on together uh, you know this these are the magnets and then this is the actual like uh, piece that has to be right about middle of the tank 
to get an accurate reading. This is where your sensor's at. And uh, truthfully, I could not get those to work together, so I just went with the pros. Uh, the pros do not work with this guy. Um, this is your LED sensor. Uh, this only works with the standards, so um, cannot use this to check the pros. Uh, can't obviously have both of them on. Now, maybe if you had 30 or 40 gallon tanks, I don't know, you might be able to fit both of them on there. With my 20s, I could not. Uh, this here, you do program for 20, 30, and 40 uh, gallon tanks. Sorry if the lighting's bad here. I'm trying to get it good. Uh, but uh, you can, just by holding this in for like five seconds and let the lights increment, you can change this to 20, 30, and 40 gallons. Uh, so, not going to do that, obviously, but uh, I am going to put these on my grill. Um, this one right here, this is going to go on my barbecue grill so I can monitor my propane tank on my barbecue grill uh, with the little LED sensor and uh, this guy right here. So I can at least tell what my grill is going to be sitting at um, and not surprisingly run out on my grill. Uh, the app does, I'm going to bring it up one more time. So if we do look at the uh, tank here, the battery is good, that's in the sensor, the signal is good, the quality, this is how well it is trying to read the tank, and it says it's only one star right now, and then the Bluetooth uh, connection is on there. Um, so it does have a sensor leveling process. Now you can see here, that doesn't look right, but believe it or not, that's where I got the one star quality on this one. So uh, let's go look at the other tank. You can see the leveling's a little bit closer here. Uh, and the quality itself is actually uh, three bar, uh, three stars, so uh, that's kind of like your trust factor on it. So I would say, you know, Right Tank Pro, uh, saying 40%, I'd probably trust him better uh, than the Left Tank Pro that says it's at 87% and with one star. So I'd probably give myself about a 5 to 10% error gateway there, just so I don't get surprised because I cannot get that thing for whatever reason. Uh, you know, I'm in the center. Uh, I got, like I said, I got the star when I was a little more over. Now that doesn't, that might just be because my RV is not level. Uh, maybe the tank doesn't sit in there just perfectly level also. So you just got those little factors you've got to get over. So, but at least it's something. And uh, you know, I can tell by the weight, these are probably pretty accurate on what they're saying. So anyway guys, check the show notes for a link for these because this is very cool stuff and very techy and very something I think everyone would need. You don't want to run out of gas. You're going to know when you're going to, when to go fill before your next trip um, and go from there. And the, the, the little um, things I put underneath <clears throat> the uh, uh, propane tanks, I, I really didn't need them because, I mean, I'm only putting them on for rust, uh, but if your tanks sit really low to the ground, you need uh, some room for the communication for the sensors to go out, so be sure you uh, use those and maybe the little metal risers uh, that uh, comes with it. I didn't use any of those because I didn't need them. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, put in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. And have a good one.